the kind of weird world that uh, I'm creating here a little consistent or self-consistent I should say um, I'll just put a few touches of that darker color dotted around Now we're getting fairly close to completing the conventional acrylic stage of the painting uh, because as mentioned once this is dry I'm going to come in with my interactive acrylics and just add some finishing touches and, and other effects um, but at the moment I'm on the whole I'm pretty happy but I've got this bright orange cow here you know which again that's cool but I kind of feel I just want to put a little touch of orange in the sky I did this the other week with um, uh, I think a sheet painting um, and I think it worked fairly well so I'm going to come back in with my lemon yellow and uh, I've got some of that orange there so we'll grab some of that but we'll grab a little bit more of the red as well because if the if the orange in the sky is a little more to the red then I don't I don't mind um, and let's see what this looks like I, you know I'm not going to go crazy here but I just want to put perhaps a couple of little touches um, you know perhaps on the edge of a little cloud there I think that's probably enough. I'm not going to do any more in terms of orange uh, in the sky. So uh, yeah, time to let this dry completely, let the cattle dry completely and come back with the interactives. Um, well, actually I spoke too soon. So I'm just going to add, uh, this is pure white conventional acrylic as I've been using throughout so far. Just want to add a couple of little touches of white there and then I'm dipping my brush into the lemon yellow and then into the the red I haven't cleaned the brush I'm just dipping the ends of the bristles into the red So it's not very much, but I just feel a little bit of a breakup of the of the greens and the yellows in the foreground was required there. So now that the conventional acrylic is completely dry, I've switched to interactive acrylic. So I've got cadmium yellow light, cerulean blue, ultra marine blue, orange. So that's just what the tube says. It simply says orange. Uh, cadmium red, tinting white, and titanium white. Got a little filbert brush here, uh, which is a flat spade shaped brush. So my first move is going to be to tackle the head of uh, the foreground animal. And I'm going to begin with a bit of tinting white. Uh, and a bit of orange and I think that might make quite a nice highlight color so let's see how that works by adding some to the edge of the ear top of the head And the great advantage of working in the way that I have is that conventional acrylic dries very quickly and once it is dry it's completely waterproof. So in contrast to that the interactive acrylics 